Last week, everybody was talking about the fact that the Mercer family, one of Donald Trump's biggest donors in 2016, also a major funder of Breitbart, they announced, or it was reported, I guess, that they were not going to be throwing any money behind Donald Trump for his 2020 reelection campaign. The Mercers had had enough. Reports uh, specifically by Gabriel Sherman from Vanity Fair said that, you know what, the Mercers are a little disillusioned. They said they're not getting the return on their investment here, which let's be perfectly honest, that's absolute bull crap. The Mercers have gotten everything they wanted out of Donald Trump. They got the tax cut, they got deregulation, they don't need anything else. The return on investment, no, you got that and we all know that you got that. But that's where the stories ended, right? Oh, they didn't get the return on investment. They're turning their backs on Trump, just like the Koch brothers have kind of turned their backs on Trump. Other wealthy donors we've reported on over the last few months, they're turning their backs on Trump. The question is why? And that's what a lot of these stories didn't actually dig into. But it's not that hard to realize. We know the why. The why is because they understand that if Trump gets another four years in office, yes, financially, it's gonna be good for them for those four years, but you know what happens after that? Radical systemic change. Right now, they understand that on the Democratic side, there is a good chance that a centrist is going to get the nomination and then win back the White House. Put things back more towards that center track where you have a Democrat who's great on social issues and absolutely horrible for consumers, much like Obama was. And as long as they have that, they're not gonna have a a Warren or a Sanders out there saying, nope, we're raising your taxes, we're putting taxes on top of your wealth that you're holding, not even earned or earning each year, but what you already just hold, we're taxing that, We're increasing regulations in order to protect American consumers and the Mercers and the Cokes and all these people can't have that. So if Trump gets another four years, what's gonna happen is it's gonna piss off more people in this country and they're gonna demand change. They're gonna demand a far left candidate. That's what's going to happen. But if you can get a centrist in there, if you can get a Biden, if you can get a Harris, things aren't going to be that different. Maybe your taxes are going to go up. Maybe, you know, maybe there's a couple more regulations here and there, and you might lose a little money off that. But if you get a Warren or a Sanders, things are going to get worse for you as they should, because you're going to have to start paying your fair share. The rest of us do. It's time for you to do it. But that's why these groups, these wealthy donors are backing away from Trump because they understand that right now, They can keep things the way they are. But if Trump gets another four years in office, by the time his term is over, people will be demanding change and they're going to gravitate towards a more radical candidate who is going to make life a living hell for these millionaires and billionaires who've had it so sweet for far too long. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.